I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. In this exercise, we're going to force hands in pre-selected categories. I call it Charleston Force. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll and see which seat we're in. I rolled a seven, one, three, five, seven. That would be west. We're in west seat. I'll get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Two, four, six, eight. We have a two and an eight. Odds, one, seven, nine, one, five, seven. I think we should play odds. So let's get rid of those and this. Maybe the dragon. Let's pass these three. One, seven. Five, seven, seven, nine. Joker bait. Let's pass these three. Ooh, ones. Okay, we have ones. Five, seven, seven, nine. We did right across, we're on first left. I would pass one blind, I think. All right, five, seven, seven, nine, red. This would be fourth hand down on the right. Five, seven, seven, nine, red. We're on second left. I would not stop the Charleston. I would risk passing blind. We have no gaps, no keepers. Eights, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, or five, seven, seven, nine. That is a risky pass. Five, seven, seven, nine, or seven, eight, nine, seven tiles versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're exactly in between seven, eight, nine. Consecutive run is not a hand to force. We're playing five, seven, seven, nine. Let's pass these three. Flower. We have three tiles to pass. So we have discards and joker bait five seven seven nine second hand down or five seven seven nine dragon fourth hand down second hand down or fourth hand down joker bait discards odds that one had risky passes but we have no gaps so i think the risk was worth it roll. I rolled an eight, so we are non-dealer. We'll get 13 tiles and I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers.
Okay, we have evens or a quint. We have no jokers. Whoops. No jokers. We do have a pair of E's, a pair of fives, two, four, six, eight. Let's pass these three and see what we can force. Six, eight. Okay, let's give up on the quint. Four, six, eight. That's really risky. Four, six, eight. Let's pass these three. One, seven, five. We don't need these. Six, eight, west, five, seven, or, let's see, I wanna think ahead of pass. Let's pass these three. Six, flower. We'll pass these. Six, white. We'll pass those. Two. Oh, now we don't have any gaps. Okay, two, four, six, eight, joker bait. Two, four, six, eight, six, eight, two, four. I don't think I would pass that. Let's give up the four. Flower, two, tiles to pass. Sixes, flowers, two, four, six, eight. First hand with flowers. Or two, eight, four, six. That is a risky pass. I would not do that. Let's pass these three. Joker bait. Two, four, six, eight. Joker bait discards. I would discard white, one, six. Hold that as long as we can. Play the very first two, four, six, eight hand. rolled a nine, so we're going to be the dealer. All right, Quint, we need to make a Quint. We have ones, ones, and jokers. No wins. One, two, one through four. First hand under quince. Maybe we could use the flower. There's only one quint with a flower. We have no wins. Then we have one, two, three dragon. We have the dragon there, but we need a green dragon. And then we could do one, one dragon. That's the wrong dragon though, unless we get one cracks. Let's keep it. I think that's what we have to work with for a quint. 
So let's pass one of each suit. Three, eight, six. Okay, here we go. Flower. Nines. Two, nine, five. There is no year hand for the quint. <laughs> Okay. Nine. Here's a two. This is where our multiple is, though. Let's pass these three. Flower. If we could get a wind, we could do flowers with the one in a wind. Let's pass these three. No wind, but we did get a red dragon. Ones. Let's pass these three. Winds! This is why you don't want to pass pairs. North and south with ones. Flowers, wind, multiple. Let's pass these three. We got a one. Look at that. And a two, three. One, two, three. We'd ha we're, we need to leverage these flowers. Let's pass three. North, <laughs> I would hold it, but we could quint, quint, pong, uh, Kong. We need a South or a Joker to quint the South. So I think that went pretty well. It was looking a bit bleak there for a while. Four discards for a quint. We made it. That could even be a winner. This exercise is a blast. If you have a set at home, I hope you give it a try. It's great for practicing playing in a tournament because in many tournaments they have prizes. So you can practice forcing hands. It's amazing how you can make the tiles work for you. Another reason why I like to do this exercise is because I mark winning hands on my card every year and I try to play hands I've not won for that particular year. So I force hands. This is a great exercise if you dot your card with winning hands. I call that the dot challenge. Fill the card with dots. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.